Okay, we are about to do a lesson in perimeter. Perimeter means all the way around. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure a figure and we're going to figure out what are the measurements all the way around. It could be in inches, could be feet, could be centimeters, but because this is on an eight and a half by 11 paper, it's not going to be feet or anything bigger. We will go ahead and use centimeters. Now, over here, this is the kind of ruler that you will often get when taking a state test, such as the FCAT, or in other states they're called something else. Uh, that's made out of paper, and if you look closely, I'm going to zoom in, you're going to notice that it doesn't start with zero on the end. Okay, over here the zero starts a little bit over. They're giving you an extra centimeter there of nothing. That means that if you start measuring at the edge, you're going to be a whole centimeter off. You always, always have to start where the zero is. I want you to measure the length and width of this paper using that ruler properly. Okay. How many centimeters was that? Seven centimeters. That is correct. Now I'll measure the width. Okay, stop for a second. Now, notice that as the, this side was measured, this side is exactly the same length. So he put the same centimeters here and here. A lot of times when given a figure, they will only put measurements on here and on here, but they will not give you the other two measurements. You need to know that perimeter means all the way around. That means that you have to put this, the measurements all the way around before you add. If you only add two sides, you will get a wrong answer. Now, let's go ahead and add up those, um, those sides. Bigger. Okay, now, the two widths are 4 centimeters, 4 plus 4 is 8, and the two lengths are 7 centimeters, 7 plus 7 is 14, 8 plus 14 is 22, now, most important, we always have to remember to put the unit here, which in this case is centimeters. The perimeter of this figure is 22 centimeters. I have a different figure here. We're going to go ahead and measure that now. Get all the sides all the way around. Make sure to write big enough so that somebody can read your measurements. You almost forgot one side. You got to get oh. all the measurements. See how easy it is to make a mistake on these? You have to make sure you measure every side.
Okay, talk, talk to us and tell us what numbers you're adding. Okay, I am adding three, seven, five, two twos, and another five together. Okay, three, seven, five, two, two, and there we go. Okay, let's see. We know that that equals ten, so we know we're gonna have we're gonna have to add ten somewhere in there. We know that that equals seven, so we're gonna have to add that somewhere in there. And we know that that and that equals seven. So now you're gonna be adding seven, seven, and ten. So I put the little plus sign there. Seven, seven is fourteen. And there's a zero there, so it stays as 14. Carry up with a 1. 1 plus 1 that, they, that you carry it over. And you put down is 2. Uh, and the CM. Good job. Good job remembering to put your units in there.